hello guys and welcome back to this new video and i am making this video after so so long but uh, today's video topic is we are talking about two biggest engine manufacturers in shipping world first name is m a n b n w and the next competitor is vatsila sulzer and these engine uh, manufacturers have released their engine series time to time and they have different names of the series and some different specifications and each time when they are releasing they have improved their design a bit a bit and sometimes uh, they have changed it drastically so in this series we will talk about the names of the series and few brief specifications of the series without wasting any further time let's jump into the video so initially we will talk about vatsila sulzer actually the vatsila sulzer is not a same company from initially initially vatsila diesel is a different company and new sulzer diesel limited it is a different company and they got merged in 1997 and then they form vatsila sulzer or today it is also uh, famous from the same name vatsila sulzer and the first releases their series name called rd series so first point if i will tell you it is the oldest engine series from sulzer and it is rarely seen in shipping world today it has rotary exhaust valve and fuel valve with short spindle and it has slender liner quills but they are placed only at upper parts and next is it has pulse turbo charging system with no auxiliary blower fitted and last point is piston is cooled by fresh water so these are some specifications for rd series now let's talk about rnd series this is the second series of the vatsila sulzer rnd series it is the most famous design of sulzer engine with a slogan our exhaust valve never burns because this engine does not have any exhaust valve it has loop scavenging and the exhaust and the inlet ports are provided in the liner means they are not using any bow and next point is it has more cylinder liner quills at the bottom part of exhaust port so they have improved their design and they have provided the cylinder liner quills at the bottom part also next point is auxiliary blowers are also fitted and constant turbo charging is also adopted so this is also a new thing then it produce more power than the engine of rd series so it gives a success to them and now comes the third series that is rt series and it is mostly uses in today's uh, shipping industry also it is giving a uh, tough competition to man bmw series but it is not the latest series series which is uh, more depend on mechan mediums not on electrical mediums so let's talk about this it is a modern day engine with exhaust valves fitted so they have fitted exhaust valves in this series and then it uses vit for the fuel controls if the speed is low or uh, load is low to uh, increase the engine efficiency and in this series reversing is done by lowest motion angle of cam and next point is it uses gear drive to connect crankshaft and camshaft i hope you'll know that why why we need to connect crankshaft and camshaft to control the fuel timings and exhaust valve timing and it consumes less fuels and produces more power with three fuel valves in one cylinder so these are some points about rts so let's talk about the last and the most latest series of vatsila sulzer that is rt flex series this is the latest and the toughest engine from vatsila sulzer with maximum automation fitted and uh, it consists of a common rail fuel injection method and uses fully integrated electronic system based on high performance computer in this series they are eliminating fuel pump fuel cam chain drive and this result in reduce of maintenance 
in rt flex system the fuel enters either from one or two or three injectors depending upon the load what does this mean this means is if the engine load varies if engine load is very less we need uh, very less um, amount of fuel then the fuel will come only from one injector maybe it will vary uh, ma and bmw design we will find it very soon in the next uh, few minutes so these are the specifications about rt flex series let's talk about ma and bmw uh, series what are the series names and what are the specifications so first series from the ma and bmw is kef series it has exhaust valves which are push road operated so they have exhaust valves they don't have ports in the first series and they are push road operated second point is it has pulse turbocharging system okay so third point is no servo motor was fitted in the engine and reversing is done by mechanical means means they are not using hydraulic means or uh, pressurized air for the reversing they are using mechanical means for the reversing next series is kgf series it is similar to kf series and consists of exhaust valve rotator with roller bearing installed for that so they are using a rotating exhaust valve and they are they have placed a roller bearing for that and exhaust valve rotator and next point is in this engine so they have fitted reversing cam in the camshaft for the reversing of the engine and camshaft is turn in the same direction for reversing and the pressure required for reversing is about 40 bars so the last point of this kgf series is there is no direct link between chain drive and engine camshaft so this is uh, they have done something new so they haven't provide any link between chain drive and engine camshaft so now we are going to talk about mc series this is one of the most famous engine series and in today's world also in maximum of the shipping world this engine series is used on ships and when this engine series was released it actually captures the 70% of the engine manufacturing market and they have made some very good changes in their latest engine design so let's talk about them the mc series engines are the most popular engines uh, and now are fitted with electronic control unit for better and safe operation of the engine next point is it uses super vit system for the fuel timing control if the load varies on the ship and the next point is reversing is done by moving the follower to the required angle by air operated servo motor means they are not using uh, lost motion angle or they are not uh, fitting any extra reversing cam for the reversing of the engine actually they are using a servo motor concept from which they are changing the angle of the follower they are not changing anything in the cam they are changing the angle of the follower for the desired so that uh, the engine can be reversed next point is it uses chain drive for connecting camshaft and crankshaft i hope you will uh, better know why we need to connect both and in this they are using chain drive and main mc series uh, in watsila sulzer they are using gears so let's talk about the latest engine series of ma and bmw bmw series and uh, this is called me series it is the upgraded version of mc engine with electronic automation installed for safety and economy of the plant this series also comes with liquid gas injection system for lpg fuel means in future if they have to switch the engine to lpg they want to use a dual fuel engine uh, partially they want to use diesel and partially they want to use L so they can do this in this engine series and third point is it uses solenoid operated proportioning valve that is called fiwa valve fuel injection valve actuation uh, they are not using common rail fuel injection like rt flex engine series and the next point is in this the fuel enters into the cylinder through two three injectors simultaneously regardless of the load load whether load is high or not but uh, in rt flex engine the uh, fuel is coming 
in either one two or three of the injectors uh, not uh, all at the same time but it depends on the load if load is uh, like high if they need more fuel then they can provide fuel in all three injectors there are two versions of me engine series one is mec and one is meb so this is it for this video if you like the video click on the like button if you haven't subscribed this channel 90% uh, of the viewers of this channel haven't even subscribed to this channel so i will request you to subscribe to this channel for to give me motivation for making more videos if you want me to tell some difference between me c and me b design so let me know in the comment and i will make a short video for that till then wait for the next video bye bye